Parents, aid is on your side this morning, keeping your kids busy and entertained when they're out of school. It's not an easy task. But, you know, we're really lucky here in Tampa Bay. There are so many choices for summer camps. From animals to science, there are plenty of options, but slots fill up fast. Before picking a summer camp, the best idea is to go straight to the source. What do you look for in a summer camp? Well, I like sports and outdoor stuff, so I usually look for, like, an animal or a sports camp so I can just run around and be outside and stuff. Tell me about some of your favorite camps. Um, the Minecraft camp. Mom and guest editor of Tampa Bay Parenting, Heather Barrow, says before picking camps, call for a family round table. We've sat down with the kids and really started to map out what they want to do this summer. There are so many camps to choose from, from theater to science. There's a wide range in choices and price points. We start out with a budget, what we're willing to spend for the camp and try to narrow it down. Okay, what's in our price range? We have two kids and then we try to say, you know, is there a place that can accommodate both of them? And ask about discounts. At Glazer's Children's Museum, there are member discounts, sibling discounts, and multi-week discounts. That can knock 10 to 20 percent off your bill. Park and rec camps are affordable choices, but you can't delay in signing up. Um, the key to that is to get out there early. I hear the lines can be very long. When they open up the camps, make sure you're aware of the time in the day and be one of the first people in line to get that first spot. Now, another thing uh, for parents to think about, ask about whether camps come with lunch or you can buy it at an affordable cost. And, of course, early and late drop-offs to accommodate your work schedule.